So that was awesome, man. You go downtown, say, hey, man, I need to get a tire change on my trailer. You get a tire change right next door. There's a garage. So I went over there and said, hey, man, you got any scrap metal? And look what I loaded in my trailer. Man, alive. And that's just a bonus for today because that was not a planned. That was 100% not planned. I just asked for it. A little shop not very big i've been there before too and they don't they keep their own scrap metal that place back there doesn't small place he doesn't want to drive all the way to wilmington for a few rims every uh, couple weeks or a month whatever it is so i pause bless now we're heading to st james north carolina look it up on google uh, we call it St. Jersey because everybody from New Jersey is moving to St. James, North Carolina, because of the cost of living is amazing here. So we hope it stays that way, even though the Jersey people come to live here. We don't want the same Jersey politics, which seems to be ex very expensive. So let's keep North Carolina like it is. Come down here and enjoy our place. We love it. Hope you do. All I can say was, if this can happen on election, at election times, why can't it happen all the time? Gas has been dropping for the past month. And the closer we get to the election, the lower the gas goes. So I wanna know why we can't have them kind of prices for the entire four years instead of the last 45 days of a new election. I don't understand that. Strange. We know something's going on. The thing about this place is it's massive. It In is half a massive. Mile, turn left onto Essex Drive. So what I did was I put all the addresses into my um, map and it sent me to the first one and now it's just gonna send me around from one to the next to the next, which is awesome about Google Maps. It just you can put ten addresses in and it will just bring you to the first, to the second, to the third. First time trying it, so let's see how it works. I think, I think, I think this is one of them. 3183, well, make America great again. Let's see if we got anything here. Phew, got a little dizzy just getting out my truck. Howdy, ma'am. Scrapping with Grandpa. Did I have scrap metal to pick up here? Gosh, I don't scrap think metal. so. Okay, for some reason I had 31. Oh. 3183? Seagrass yeah. Court? Yeah. Yeah, 3183, Seagrass. Let me call my husband. He's just mm. walking the dog. I mean, uh, I pick up scrap metal like grills and bicycles and tricycles or whatever kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I had an address for some reason that said. Huh. Um, could be I could be at the wrong place. Let me let me call him hopefully as his phone. Thirty one eighty three. That was one of my stops that I wrote down anyways. Yeah. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Um Hey, a gentleman is here, free scrap metal pickup. Did you have something for him? Okay. All right. Okay, bye. Which side of the house? Grill. Towards Dan, what is it? Okay, around the side of the, that, around that side. And he's on his way, he'll be right here. Thank you, thank you. Okay, sure. All right, see what we got. Back up a little bit so that the owner of this place can be able to pull into his driveway. And it's apparently around the side there, so give me a minute. Apparently there's a few things around here and he's on his way that's a good thing st. James st. Jersey what a beautiful place what a beautiful place oh yes look at this goodness I'm talking about goodness everywhere oh my goodness look at the goodness golly 
I'm happy. Oh yeah, good rotors. More heavy steel. Number one, unprepared right here. This is a bed rail basically, so it's still unprepared steel. Cut it down into pieces, a little shorter uh, than this, or it's gonna be considered unprepared. Uh, so three foot or shorter. I cut that a couple times, turn it into prepared, and makes more money. That way they don't have to cut it. Already, already. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, look at that. Kind of a chair. Take it. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is a whole kit. Wow. Magnetic holder. That's beautiful. I'm in love with that. You know where that goes. Look at that. Why oh, would somebody throw away wrenches? Goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Grandpa is blessed. Alright, back to the truck. Do this a few times. We'll have her loaded maybe by the time he gets back. Let's see. Well, howdy, sir. Sir? Dishwasher. Oh, absolutely. I got it over here. I'll bring it over. Yeah, yeah, that's and great. The grill. Oh, I'll just drive around there when I'm done getting this. Yeah. We'll just drive over there. You sure? Yeah, no problem. I have them in the map. Matter of fact, I have it in my little maps to go there next. So. Oh, do you? Yes. Well, I'm gonna get it out of the garage anyway. Okay. Yeah, I'll get. I'm gonna get this. I'm good. Yeah. Right. Ooh wee! Road is running everywhere. Show me the money, Grandpa. Show me the money. Yeah. Goodness, it's everywhere. I might just have to go to the scrapyard today. Time I finish in here. Get rid of this goodness. Put stuff on Facebook. I do. You burning pots? Fifty-five gallon. Yeah. Oh drums. yeah. Yes. That's on your Facebook. Yes. So yeah. you're famous. I guess. Am I? Am no, I? I. I uh... I teach entrepreneurship. Oh, nice. So uh, during the summer at Cape Fear Community College. Yeah, I got to hold on a second though, because I've I got to wait to let my legs no get, get back breathing. Yeah, um, they uh, eighth graders. We do a thing, and uh, I used your burning pot. Oh, really? As an example of you know being an entrepreneur. Yeah, absolutely. Here's a problem. Guy's yes. got all these drums. Yes. And you That's re. Great you know change them for somebody that has another sure problem. right right yeah, right yeah. That, well that's what i do i'm a youtuber yeah i'm a youtuber and i make videos on youtube my scrap metal adventures and yeah. and then have so, yep yeah. i don't think it's recording an amazing conversation this guy works for unc college unc college and he used my videos talking about entrepreneur shop and he said to me he said oh you he said are you the youtuber with the barrels i was like yeah he said, dude, you're famous. You're famous. I've used your videos at my college. I was like, wow, are you kidding me right now? That's incredible. The teacher at a college, entrepreneurship. Watch your back on my door now. Watch your back. I want you to get hit in the back of the door. Yeah, right in the front. I'm gonna move some of this stuff to the front so that I can I mean, I'm, you're only the first stop today, and I've got like six more. Six more. If you stop down the street, you can get a Blackstone grill. I get it all, buddy. I, yes, sir. 100%. 100%. Yeah, I'll tie all this goodness down before I leave. Better be moving it to the front, though. Who do you use for um, appliance repair? My son-in-law is Jamerson Appliance. Oh, is he? 
You know well, him? He never answers the freaking phone. So. What? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Well, he is so busy. I mean, he is incredibly busy. I will say that. But the, the, uh, you ready? My daughter's a secretary. I'm surprised. She's a secretary. Her name is Jennifer. Yeah. No, I, well, here's the other problem. Is, uh, I submitted online. Yeah. And most companies have their website have those online contacts. Yeah. And they yeah. never get back to you. Really? Yeah. Even my daughter doesn't? Because well, that just sounds crazy. Yeah. Because they're it, it, super uh, amazing about that. They, uh, and, you know, who knows? Hmm. Like the busy time or whatever. But, yeah. Well, they do. I will say they take a lot of vacations. I mean, they <laughs> they have three kids, oh, okay. twins, boy and a girl, and then yeah. another girl, yeah. and they they spend they take a lot of family time. Yeah, and which is good. And that's and that's what they do. They always I, I, make sure she has family time. Our company we were for her kids. We had as a family. I had a poster that said. Uh, Family first. Yes, hundred percent. You know, family first. Yep. I, man, I'm telling you. Yes, sir. I agree with that one hundred and ten percent. And my daughter is the same way. Um, and you know, she does. She also has a, a hair salon, so she does hair. And then her she and she's a hus secretary for her husband. I mean, she's a busy girl. Her kids, you know, are eight, just turning eighteen years old this oh, uh, right. next month. Matter of fact, they turn eighteen next month. Two uh -huh. of them. Two of them. The other one's twelve. But she's, she's doing good. So where's the grill? Um, there's a red pickup down here. We'll okay. see if they're. Uh, I'll there. back. I'll back right around. Come that way. Perfect. Blackstone. These things just don't last as long as you think they would. Now. Nah. The money you pay for a grill, it's incredible. Well, uh, and it's on wheels. Got it. Hell, it probably roll. Yeah, small wheels. No. Small wheels. Uh oh. Landmine, don't walk on it. Uh -oh. Right there. Don't walk on it. Oh. <laughs> I'll let you close it as soon as we come through. Beautiful. You know what this is for? So they don't come through? Rabbits. Oh, really? Yeah. No Just kidding. a little one. Oh. It goes ballistic. Oh. Rabbits in the yard. Oh, that's funny. One day, tried to get through the glass window. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Banging on it, head button the glass window. Yep. Wow. Yeah, there goes a the rabbit right there. What? Just no kidding. Yeah. They're everywhere in here, huh? As far as I can walk. Not a problem. Yep. Peripheral artillery, and no joke, buddy. It tells you when you're gonna go and when you're gonna stop. What's it? What's it? Uh... Lack of oxygen in my my veins. Really? Yeah. So I have stints in my legs, just like you would in your heart. Yeah, yeah. I had to stint my legs to keep the blood flow to keep going huh. to my feet, and and they're kind of collapsed and everything, especially right here. So I have a lot of problem from here down. Is that due to roofing? roofing. See, I'm always doing like this, you know. My bed. I tears, if tears catch, up the veins. I catchers have that problem. I imagine they do. They're always down in that position. That's yeah. a terrible position. Bending your legs oh. and keeping them in that position for any amount of time is the worst thing you can do for your. I'm surprised they haven't changed that game. You know, for the catchers something, up here. Something. Put the put the batter up on a pedestal. I mean, whatever it takes. Yeah, but yeah. that that catcher is catching hell. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what the average Over life years. is. Catcher. I guarantee he's got a feet problem. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you roll now. I guarantee he's got problems with his feet. I'm just gonna stick this one right up in the middle. Heck, I'll probably have a trailer full by the time I get there. For real. Beautiful. 
I got it. It's a beautiful thing. Take this off because it will blow away. So, do you totally disassemble everything into different? I do. Wow. Well, it's not going to blow away. It's tied on. That's a good thing. Yes, I do. I take everything off of them. Wires, any piece of brass, piece of copper. Um, these things mostly are uh, the cast of, that are on the hookup that goes to the grill. There's a piece of nice little nugget of uh, brass in there and some cast aluminum. And yeah, that's what I do. Nice. Yep. It's the only way to make any money because other than that, if I bring it in like it is, it's like eight and a half cents a pound. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, there's this stuff on there. Under all them knobs, yeah. there's a piece of brass. So, I don't well, have that's anything like else. like those cast rotors I gave you. Yes. Them, them are the most money. They're 10 and a half cents a pound. Yeah, yeah. We They're used to do brakes. Yep. We manufactured brakes. We had mm -hmm. vacuum boosters. Yes. Which was, I used to, once a month, a, a big 40-footer of solid cast. Oh, wow. And, uh, wow, that's nice. I would go out and... Because I we used to sell all the scrap guys, the big mm -hmm. guys, big equipment, and I, you know, they, I'd uh, put out uh, facts at that time. Yeah. You know, okay. Yeah. How much? What are you gonna? You That's know, great. Pay me for it. Yeah. And uh, one of the guys I went to high school with, he's like, "I'll give you the best price. You know that. It's a bullshit. You <laughs> yeah, will. I yeah. know you. <laughs> I know that's right." <laughs> So oh, that's awesome as well. I, I appreciate you using my channel as yeah, a yeah, yeah. as something no, on your great. on your on your school. And then and then it's funny that we meet after that, right? Yeah. I mean, I've never met you before. No. Uh -uh. And uh, you say, so when you said you're the guy with a barrel, I'm like, yeah. And you said you're famous. I'm like, why are we? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you used me in your class. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, and and these kids, most of them are from Pender County. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, it's. I used to do a lemonade, good meeting. I used to do a lemonade stand at yeah. the sidewalk. Yeah, yes. And they would say, who has a sidewalk? Oh, right, um, right. And then I'd like, into the driveway. Yeah, right. Who has a driveway? Oh. You know, I'm like, ooh, uh, my audience. That is hilarious. All right, see Thank you, you my brother, I appreciate you. Yeah. Oh, man, this is one of my stops. Look at this beautiful house. Beautiful house. They said they had a bed frame or something. Yes, they do. Hey, thank you, my friend. I appreciate you. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. That helps me out. I like to do one stop a week in here if I can. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll keep that in mind. Perfect. You have a blessed day. Looks like I might have me a trailer full by the time I leave. Oh, good. That's just what I picked up in here already. I'm blessed. Have a blessed day. Beautiful day. Let's see if I'm at the right place. 3041. See what we got here. A couple nice nice chairs. I mean, these are nice. My wife might just love these for a patio. They don't look terrible. I haven't really looked at them real close. Man, I have loaded up my trailer in here today. Loaded up my trailer in here today. Goodness gracious. Look at that. That's a very nice chair, actually. Very nice chair. Oh, goodness gracious. Let me get that. Rolled iron uh, bird feeder poles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. 
White Hermit Rock. Oh there. yeah, absolutely. Goodness everywhere, what a load today. Man, it's a sweet chair. Absolutely. I'll definitely have to tie on by the time I leave here. Boy, maybe I ought to back up in the driveway. Although, you know I'll be leaving marks. I don't see any. Screw that big table. It's actually a fairly nice table, really. I think I can. In the neighborhood, so um, I said, you know what? Yeah, I'd love to pick up the little whirly bird thing. Thank you, my jigger. And he said, come and get it. Got a couple things, a little ball retriever. Looks like it doesn't work anymore. That's cool. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? Never seen one of them before. I know we've seen some pots and pans. And a whirly bird that is whirly birded itself to death. Look at that. Whirly bird. Let's get the rest of it. All right, next stop. Look at my trailer. It's absolutely full just from here. Just from here. Today. All right, 3154 has some more scrap metal. Let's go get it. 3154, here we come. Ain't much, but it all adds up. Yes, it does. Look at there. Oh, yeah, aluminum goodness. Not too bad. Nope, that's not aluminum. It's galvanized goodness. It's all right, we'll take it. It's all goodness to me. It's all goodness to me. Oh, copper, look at there. We got some copper, guys. Woo wee! Copper. Look at that goodness. Woo wee! Aluminum. Some aluminum rails. Woo. And some copper pipe. Gosh, I don't get that very often. I don't get that very often. Pretty stuff. This guy's like, woo wee! this stuff number one baby this is always going to be number one copper see how bright it is number one even if it has patina it's still number one all right that was my last stop in here so now we gotta i'm gonna spin around i think i'm gonna tie that table on too inside my local watering hole and he said we got some scrap metal out back if you want it he sure does. What's going on here? Look at all that. Yeah, I won't be able to take anything off there. There's so much plastic. So much plastic on the front of these things. There are some electronics, some other things here, I guess. Oh boy. There's some steel in the bottom. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can turn these in for some shred. I think we can. Shred. Look at all the goodness here. Show me the money, man. Where's the money? I want the money. Paper. Paper money. Not today. No paper money today. Oh, yeah. Take it. Whoo yeah, I mean I loaded this trailer this morning. Of course it's bulky stuff, taking up a lot of room, so it's not like I have a whole bunch on here, but but I'm gonna go home and get some some of this stuff off, maybe. I don't know. That's aluminum up there. That's all aluminum. I could turn that in as dirty aluminum. Got aluminum rim. Got two aluminum table and two aluminum chairs, which, gosh, I would think, huh, could I use anything like that? Gosh, if I showed it to my wife, 
So you'd probably say yes. Or maybe I just show it to somebody else on a marketplace and they say yes. And I make 20 or $30 from a table and chair set. Hmm. Let's figure this out. In the meantime, I'm gonna load these pump things. We got goodness everywhere. There's not a lot of metal in these. Really? Some electronics. Not much metal. We might get by with sending it in like that. Might. I don't like it necessarily. This seems a little heavier now. I don't hear any money. What we got here? A air machine. Air pump. Bring that thing home and put it to work. Just kidding, it's broke. It's broke. Broken. Broken. With no, oh my god, the metal, the money bucket is empty. Can I get that thing in there? That thing's kind of heavy. Man. Oh my word. I don't know if I can get it in there or not. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have to go inside and say, somebody needs to give me a hand. I can't get that thing in there. That's heavier than me. Yeah, let's go inside. Actually, I would love to be able to set it right here or right there, and I can't open my door. That's the problem. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just not, you can get the tail of it in. If you can get the tail in, I can get the rest. There you go. That arrived just like that. It won't go nowhere, but see, watch your fingers. Put your fingers in that thing. Get it, get it. Get a piece of metal. I think it'll fall right over and stay there. Yeah, should be good. Okay. I ain't going nowhere. Boom. I appreciate you, bro. No problem. do it all right guys we have made it to the scrapyard boss recycling wilmington north carolina highway 421 be there or be square let's go back here and start my ticket uh in the non-ferris department i got the table i'm not going to try to sell it on marketplace i'm not going to try to ask my wife if she wants it i'm just going to get rid of it along with the uh chairs but they are aluminum with some steel on them so Let's go start a ticket in the non ferris and then we're gonna go get rid of some shred metal. Um, and, and this place calls rims shred. Every place is different. Some people will give you number one steel for rims, some people won't. So, so um, I only have to go across there twice because I'll weigh out my shred and then I'll come back through and drop off a little bit of rotors that I picked up today, uh, actually. So um, let's start off here in the non ferris department. This is my favorite part, actually, and the part that pays the most. Non-ferrous, aluminum, copper, brass, whatever. All that kind of good stuff. But anything other than steel. This stuff here, magnet doesn't stick to it. And that's what you want for the money. The things, oh my goodness gracious, that I picked up today was this table. I mean, I guess he just got a new one. and in that town of St. James, I call it, St. Jersey. Um, I mean, they got more money than I do, so something like that, you and me would, you, you and me would probably not uh, throw that in a junk pile. I mean, I could have even probably brought that to my daddy Wally. He would probably would have liked having that, so. But, sorry, daddy Wally, um, it's just not in the cards today. So I'm gonna get rid of that thing. I mean, that could be painted up and resold or, or whatever. So I hate it when that happens. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. And I could take off that aluminum sides on that thing there, and even in the whole bottom, this is all aluminum. So, but it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. I got this load on here. Tomorrow is a roofing day. Drew's roofing and home repair. And I'll be over there on that channel uh, making a video. So if you want to see what I do, other than 
this and you didn't know my other channel is drew's riffing and home repair i got some uh some mostly work videos but some how-to videos and uh some actually have um chimney rock see i've spent a lot of time uh in chimney rock north carolina that's west western north carolina in the mountains and let me tell you something that place is absolutely spectacular and uh you would have to see that place to believe it just looks like you're driving through this old town gold mining town or something kind of what it looks like and um it washed away guys it washed away and i seen a video today and the title was um uh one month after hurricane Halen. hey my boss man how you doing it's a beautiful day i'm gonna get rid of this uh aluminum table and these aluminum chairs in the back of my truck and then i'm gonna go over there get rid of some goodness all right what a beautiful day this thing dumps right it does but i'm not dumping it today oh you're not no i got shingles in the bottom of it from another job i'm a roofer too so i got shingles in there so i'm just gonna back it up i got once i get this table off all that other stuff would be easy for me to throw off. i threw it on myself so i can damn sure throw it off um and then i'm going to drop off some uh, rotors after i go back across the scale i got some rotors that i'm going to drop off over there yeah can you kind of like throw these not in the pile though what them yeah because all we want is like uh in our pile is that the actual uh yeah okay yes yes I, that's what i do the, these i was show i was just throwing them in my shred that's going off on my shred okay yeah. all right awesome awesome you know you what i'm saying huh yeah <laughs> done this before brother <laughs> scrap with grandpa what's next can make some make some scrap money. Uh, here somewhere, but this this table could be brought home, straightened up, cleaned up, resold, any any amount of things, right? Any. But for me. It has to go out of my truck today. Today. Man, that's a beautiful table. You might want to bring that home with you. Matt lost it. Hold on. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm on you. I'm on your time, buddy. This is your shop, not mine. This is your shop. Yeah. Sam, you go back for a lace in that ticket and put aluminum breakage. He's dropping off aluminum breakage. What's the name of your ticket, Andrew Bustle. Andrew. Andrew, A N D R E W. But why doesn't why doesn't have a ticket for you? I haven't made one. You're first up for me. Oh, okay. You're making the ticket. Sorry. Yeah, that's all, all my fault. Yeah, I told him I was going to come through here first, and I'll weigh out with my uh, other stuff, because that had to come out first. Yeah, I figured what I picked up today, I have to get rid of today. I got a job to do tomorrow, and it's not scrap metal. I got a different truck today. Different truck today. Usually I drive my black one. Hey, I've got my Ford. The other one's a Toyota. Alright, what's the last name? B U S S E L L. Bustle. B U S S E L L. L L. Two L's. Uh oh. You went in the back. Nah, I just wanted to. There you go. Andrew Bustle. Yes, sir, brother. That's me. Scrapping with Grandpa. What's next? Yes, a nice little table. Oh, aluminum goodness. Look at that thing. Is it all clean? This might be all clean. It's not terrible. No, it's, it's all aluminum. No, it's not. It's dirty. It's, it's dirty. dirty. Yeah, it's dirty. It's got steel right here in the middle. Oh, okay. And wherever the bolts, bolts are. are. That's all steel, brother. Yeah, I thought about that. Yes, sir. Yeah, I don't. I ain't trying to get clean for it. That that and the chairs. The, the chairs, this is all dirty. It, this might be dirtier than that because of this. Uh, but it's still all aluminum. Okay. 
have some goodness. Yeah, I got a roof job to do tomorrow. I got to get rid of this stuff today. Got to go, got to go. What, hold, hold, hold on, what about this? Is this same category? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Same category. Sorry about that, thank you. Anything else? Uh, that's it, buddy, for that. That's it for here, actually. I'm gonna go to my, uh, I'm going to the shred pile next. Okay. Well, I got you. Tell them you got an open ticket from back here, Pop. Okay, now I'm going across the scale. Yes, sir. Thank you, buddy. Yes, So, we got rid of our non-ferrous. I, I did not even check, but it's aluminum breakage. Um, table and chairs, uh, a couple other miscellaneous things. I hope I got it on video. If I didn't, I didn't. But anyway, I just went across the scale, got my first weight, and what I was getting, saying before I realized my camera wasn't on, um, I'm gonna go back here and throw off because I've been, I mean, I threw everything on. I have a load of trash in the bottom of my trailer. I can't dump it. Uh, I'll have to pick up my trash. So I have a job tomorrow a roofing job and that's what is That is what's in the uh, Bottom underneath my scrap metal today. So that being the case I might just see if I can get this guy to just rip it off of there for me Oh, that would be a blessing and then I'll get the smaller stuff over there Let's see what we can do boy. That's a bunch of junk right there. I wouldn't even let them dump that stuff in my yard It's mostly styrofoam no way, no way. All right, let's see what we got going on. Yes. Sometimes you gotta look at these things and make sure they're, re they're actually recording. You'd be like, yeah, I think I'm recording. And you're not. So, uh, what I thought was gonna be heavy steel, this goes in the back, saving this. What I thought was, I thought rims were gonna be considered heavy steel, but not here or at least I should say number one steel, but they said that goes in my shred. So I'm gonna have to just take their word for it. Is what it is. And uh, yeah, I don't mind. So everything in here is shred except for just a few powders. I'm gonna re-weigh again on the scale. And um, weigh them separately because they are number one steel. My rotor is up here to the front in case this guy takes this stuff off. Ouch! That hurt like hell. Use my shred. They're calling uh, rims. Ooh. Shred. Ooh, that's some heavy shred, son. But you know what? Every yard's different. I don't even know. Um, don't know. And I don't really care. I just picked all this stuff up today for free. I really don't give a crap ola about it. I'm gonna see if he can pick this stuff up out of here. You can't drag it because I have shingles underneath. So you just have to pick it up what you can and then I'll bring the rotors over and throw them out myself. But if you drag it out, you drag out trash. go man with a plan man with a plan sir going up 
going up, baby. I told him don't drag it out because you'll drag out trash. And there's trash in the bottom of this thing, for sure. Just pick up what you can get and I'll appreciate that. Heck yeah. Straight up, brother. Oh, what? You got one of them. Oh, that's the, uh, that's the air machine. I could have taken that thing home, but I'm gonna tell you something, I don't have time for that. I ain't got time for it. Let's just watch this guy do his job. Yes, sir, you drive another bike, you throw it right up there on the pow. Boy, that's a lot, a lot, a lot of junk in that stuff they just sold this place. But, you know what, shred, shred. Just amazing that that would pay the same price as a rim. Crazy. Sir, get you a bike. Get you a bite. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. What a beautiful thing. Them things too, they're, to be honest with you, they're a little bit on the light side of metal too. So, um, You're lucky if your scrapyard takes some of the things that you drop off because there's really not a crap ton of metal in some of the stuff. And then some of the stuff like that grill that he's getting ready to grab. Then I sold that probably uh, eight and a half cents a pound. Now that thing is probably got eight, eight pounds of cast aluminum on it that I could have took off for 45 or 55 cents a pound. Of course, you know, I'd make more money right there, but I'm in a pinch today. It's late in the afternoon. I don't know. It's late enough for me. It's three o'clock. I still got this stuff in my truck. This stuff down low down to my truck. The shingles in the bottom of that, I, I just take whatever I can take. Take what you can take. Sometimes it is what it is. It's too late. But for now, we just gotta watch this guy eat this stuff. Man, this guy's right on it, but I think he's gonna get it all. Get it, get it, oh, get it. Yes, oh, he barely has that thing. That's like a pinch. Ouch. All right, I'm gonna just start throwing this stuff out. I can get the rest. Huh? That looks like you'd be getting some decent grill. I do, actually. I just picked that up in St. James. Probably nothing wrong with it, but they're getting a new one, you know. Had a birthday. You looking for a grill? Yeah, a grill cover. I mean, I got, a, I got one that I got from here years ago. It's all rusted out. If I can get a good grill, I'll, hold, I'll put it in my truck one day and bring it here. I like charcoal. So. Charcoal grills? But I mean, if it's got both, that's fine. I, I, I got that too. All right, that's cool, man. Especially one with a cover. I'll look. I'll look. I'll look around. I appreciate it. I get a lot of stuff. I work, I work in Southport, and I got St. James down there. That's like a million-dollar place, you know. They have a birthday. They get a new grill, you know. They get, you know, it's a, it's a Thanksgiving, so they get a brand-new outside uh, set, you know. And they just throw it away. Hey, I've got some trainers out in here. But, uh, I got one of those at home now. It's smoker, but I must be going to put the pan in the bottom. It's burnt out. I can't work a smoker. I don't know what the fuck to do with it. I've tried. I had a smoker. We bought it. I used it twice. And neither time I really knew what I was doing. I was like, sold it on Marketplace for like almost nothing. Pain in the ass. Yeah. Yeah, that thing get right up 500, 600 degrees. Yeah. What's that, brother? Until I started that YouTube channel either. You ain't seen it? I haven't. I haven't tried to start one yet. Start one. It's easy, man. It's easy.
Huh? Sometimes these guys bring some good shit too. Yeah, man, I've seen it. I've seen some of their stuff. Yeah, I was here a lot. One of the times they were here, I couldn't believe it. Keep them in my shop. Go in here and see what kind of money we made for a single pickup today. Uh, doctor's appointment, mail probably started about 9 30 actually, and it is it is 3 13, so and we got a half an hour to get home. See how we did for that little part of a day. All right, let's do a scan. Yes, sir, scrap metals certified that I am the legal owner. Yes, I am. Sign that baby scrap on grandpa. I'm spitting out a ticket. That means I made money. What kind of money did we make today? All right, let's see if we hit the lottery. Did we hit the lottery or did we not? Let's find out here in a second. Scrap on grandpa, what's next? Show me the money. Oh my god. One, twenty, five, thirty, one. $131 for a half a day. Grandpa is blessed. All right, guys. Falls Recycling, Highway 421. Be there, be square. Show me the money. Scrap with Grandpa, what's next? Man, tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow, just saying. Tomorrow, I'm going to do a roof again. I'm telling you again from for Drew's Roofing and Home Repair. Go check me out if you want to see what I do over there. Um, I don't do the work. I subcontract the work out, but it's my business. I've been having the business for years and years and years. And by the way, uh, one more thing before I go. Um, Scramble with Grandpa, what's next? I tell you what's next. I picked up my two times and my three times shirts. I picked up five two times, five three times, or three X, whatever you want to call them. So if you are a member, these t shirts that I just bought are for any of my members that have not received. A t-shirt from me because of the fact that all I had was large and extra large. Well, I have I have your t-shirts now. Um, text me your name, your YouTube name, your real name, and your address, and I will get you a whether it's a two times or a three times shirt out as soon as I can. I promise, as soon as I can. Just text me your addresses. This is members only. All right, guys. See you on the next one. You know what to do. Smash that subscribe button, ring that bell so you're notified next time I put out a video so you don't miss it. You never know what it's going to be. See you on the next one.